Hey there, good morning everyone. Thursday the 27th of July 2023. This morning's devotional is a reading from James chapter 2 verse 14 which reads, What good is it, my brothers, if a man claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save him? Many Christians have blurred the line between faith and works and need to see that there are many distinctions between these two things. Faith is a gift from God, and the Christian's work is something that God has prepared for us because we have been saved by faith. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 and 9 remind us, For it is by grace that you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Now, someone might ask, can I have faith, but not works? Once again, James reminds us in James chapter 2, verse 17, In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. Now, you always get someone who will argue that there's a conflict between faith and works, and might even use the teaching of Paul against the teachings of James. But this should not be the case because James was addressing those who claimed to be believers but didn't show any real evidence of it in their lives. He was saying that if it is a real faith, then there will be evidence. <clears throat> the book of Acts chapter 8 verses 9 through to verse 24 records a story of a man named Simon who was a sorcerer who had been misleading people in Samaria with his cultic practices. <clears throat> Excuse me. But one day Philip, a disciple of Christ, showed up and began to do miracles by the hand of God. The people turned from Simon and began to follow the God whom Philip proclaimed. Simon could see that Jesus was bad for business and he needed to do something. So we read that Simon believed and was baptized in Acts chapter 8 verse 13. But it would appear that this was not a genuine conversion. Because later the Apostle Peter said to Simon, Your heart is not right in the sight of God. Repent therefore of this your wickedness. In Acts chapter 8 verses 21 and 22. What this shows us is that you can believe in the power of God. That Jesus Christ is the Son of God. That the Bible is God's word. That Jesus is coming again. And you can even be baptized and yet not really know God in a personal way. So what does it mean to believe? The word believe is made up of two words, be and live. Faith helps us to be spiritually, but then it is expressed in works and deeds. Be and live. I put my faith in Christ, but then I live it out. My dear friends, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. Let us stop bluffing ourselves and let us start practicing what we preach. Faith must always be accompanied by actions. May the Lord be with you. May he bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.